It's time for Wretched Radio with Todd Friel. Here we go. It's the Wretched Radio Mail Call Delivery Bag Q&A Infotainment Nationwide Extravaganza featuring your voicemails, correspondences, communiques, dispatches, memorandums and missives. Any special message for all the kids watching at home? What we need right now is a clear message to the people of this country. You have 1,200 messages. It is a bit above average. Now here's your host, Todd Freakishly Tall Friel. The mail is here! Ooh. There are two ways to get a hold of us here at Wretched Radio. You can beep talk one eight seven seven two eight two beep or send an email to idea at wretched.org. But before we get to your emails, that's right, some good news. Actually, yeah. several pieces of good news. Johnny Erickson Tata announcing she's cancer free. Praise God for that. That woman. What a warrior. I, I suspect Johnny Erickson Tata has a greater capacity to appreciate the love of God than most of us. And I expect that God has so fitted her for heaven that she will be one of the bright lights that is able to appreciate God more than many of us, even in heaven. Paralyzed for the last 40, 50 years? 50, 50 years? 50 years. John MacArthur has been in ministry for 50 years. In the meantime, Johnny Erickson Tata has been in a wheelchair for 50 years, and she's been doing great ministry. Johnny Erickson Tata shared good news. She's cancer-free. After being diagnosed with breast cancer for the second time, that was in November, she and her husband were prepared to gladly take whatever from the hand of God, even if it were from his left hand. Nice work with the subjunctive. But the Lord was gracious and heard the desire of our hearts. The PET scan shows that my second tumor that was removed last November did not metastasize. Give, given the aggressive nature of that reoccurring cancer, this news is wonderful, is what it is. So praise God, Johnny Erickson Tata doing well. Chances are pretty good. You prayed for her. Hope you did. Second piece of good news. Okay, maybe not like Really, 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 really good for a long period of time. But the Anglican Church in Canada actually voted to stay the biblical line. And that marriage is between a man and a woman, that there there are only two genders. And so the Anglican Church Canada, do they go by a name like the Episcopalians? I don't don't know that they do. I don't think so. Whatever it is, the Anglican Church in Canada... They are indeed at least rejecting same-sex marriage in a vote that did not pass the General Assembly in Vancouver. The church rules require motions to be passed by a two-thirds majority from its three groups of delegates. They have the laity, the clergy, the bishops. On Friday, the requirement of the motion did not meet the threshold among the bishops. It did pass, though, with the lay voters and members of the clergy were more than two-thirds in redefining marriage, but the bishops held on, tick, 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 like sand through an hourglass. It's probably just a matter of time. Nevertheless, you take the good news when you can get it. Another piece of good news, the Reformation wall in Geneva was vandalized. That's right. Good news. The This is a magnificent statue. It is in Geneva. That's what you just said, Todd. Well, I was gonna I was gonna say Zurich because that's that's where Zwingli's home is. But in Geneva, the HQ of John Calvin, Pharrell, the great reformers, beautiful statues. It was inaugurated in 1909. This not only is this good news, this is a miracle. How it was defaced. Somehow paint fell from the sky to remind us that God will not judge the world again with water. That is phenomenal. What a miracle that was, that somehow the paint that got thrown at it or fell from the sky actually was the form of a rainbow. Isn't that, a, isn't that good? Oh. Yeah. What's the good news? And, and what's the response? We'll clean it up. We don't hurt people. We don't yell at people. We, 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 we don't beat them up. We're Christians. We turn the other cheek. There have been a number of van, vandalic... 
acts. Wow, I didn't know that was a word. Against the Protestant monument in the past, according to uh, La Matin. In March, feminist activists wrote a graffiti on the wall reading, Where are the women? Well, um, there were wives of reformers, but back then there were just male reformers. You know, history, how that is. (laughs) One more piece of good news. (laughs) From the Gospel Coalition, an apology to some evangelicals. This one is all the buzz on the internet. Tabidi Anyabwile, who is from the Gospel Coalition, pastors a church. He used to be with Nine Marks Ministries at Capitol Hill Baptist Church with Mark Dever, pastoring his own church. Uh, Anaconda Baptist, I think is what it's called. They adhere to the 1689 London Baptist Confession of Faith. He has been one of the individuals on the more extreme end of the social justice movement. Uh, on, on the on the progressive side. And he's written much, he's spoken much, and he's caused much controversy, and he's writing an apology to some evangelicals. As best I can understand it, he apologized for fear, unrighteous anger, hopelessness, uncharitable thoughts, speaking foolishly and without facts, and speaking harshly. There are some people who are dissecting it and they are saying critical things. I have nothing critical to say about it. Man apologized. I will confess to you as an aside, I, I didn't quite understand it. Uh, I, I'm not stating that negative. I, I just didn't quite get it. It was more of an apology, it seems to me, about heart issues than it was positional issues. Nevertheless, isn't it good news anyway? Shouldn't we take this and go, okay, Tabidi, you didn't sin against me in this regard. I, I don't think your apology applies to me, but uh, great. And if this, if this is a statement that we can come away from stating, it looks like perhaps, now we can have some conversations without some of those emotions involved, then great, let's have them and let's see if there is a way forward. So while there are some who are critical of it, I don't think that that's how we're supposed to respond when a professing believer apologizes. Even when in my case, I didn't quite understand it, you accept it. This applies in our homes, doesn't it? Somebody sins against you, and this time you know what the sin is, and they don't apologize the way that you think that you should. Do you accept it? I think the answer is yes. They don't don't repent with as much intensity or with as much sorrow as you would like. Do you accept it? I think the answer to that is yes, you do. You're at that point, your job is not to stir up their contrite heart. That's the, that's God's job. But if they say, I'm sorry, I think it is incumbent upon us to say, and you're forgiven. We talk about that with Dr. John Street, by the way, in a resource available at wretched.org. It is called Conflict. It is how to reconcile, biblically reconcile relationships so that they are better on the other end of it than they were when you went into the conflict. It's, it's an outstanding resource. It really is. It's at wretched.org. Let's let's accept it, and let's hope now, perhaps, we can have some conversations that are productive, and that 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 don't have the emotions that Tabidi is professing that he was guilty of, of carrying. Apology, accepted. Right. I think it's good news. Let's get to the mailbag shop. Hold it. This could be more good news. Look out. We've got a theme going on here at Wretched. I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to endure much Todd? more of this good news. Yeah, <laughs> Todd, is that uh, is that really you? I, Have you I, been replaced? I, I, if, are you under duress? Blink I, when twice. is your oldest daughter's birthday? I think it's an alien. I, I, I wish that the porcupine were dancing on the Vatican so that the world would have peace. Was that the code language that we we agreed that we'd use in case well, that no, there actually, was a terrorist we were going at the door? Something or something? like the eagle has landed. Since, okay, you know, yeah. <laughs> this is just beautiful. Yeah, this is uh, sad and beautiful, is what it is, and convictional, really. This, uh, this is many emotions wound into one. This is actually from our wretched Facebook page. And and by the way, for those people who wonder why we don't allow comments on YouTube, uh, it's because it gets really quite. Um, unproductive on YouTube. It's much better on Facebook. We'd have to spend our days monitoring YouTube and and the things that get written. But we do allow it on Facebook. It, it, it's just, it just tends to be better. And this, honestly, it just doesn't get any better than this. Lisa, 
I wanted you to know how much you meant to my husband and his true conversion. He passed away three and a half months ago during a short hospital stay and was evangelizing on his deathbed until he could no longer speak. Don't wait for your deathbed to evangelize. We requested donations in his memory to Bible League International, and I believe $420 was given. When his sister suggested he would get to see his brother at his passing, he said, I just want to see Jesus. Lisa, very, very sorry for your loss. Lisa, very, very grateful for your husband's testimony, his faithfulness, and his courage. May we all take his lead and evangelize up until our dying breath. This is Wretched Radio. Oh, I am so surprised that you are still here. Apparently, you've got a lot of free time. If you would like to get more Wretched, and who wouldn't, simply like this video, subscribe to this channel, and we will give you Wretched till it's coming out of your nose.